everyone uh, welcome to my YouTube channel um, this is my first video uh, I just kind of wanted to throw my two cents out there as a um, new mother I've been a mother for 12 years but uh, I have a new two and a half month old here um, so I kind of wanted to share with you guys my, um, my idea for, uh, like newborn essentials. Um, now in my opinion, you, one list for every baby, that's, that would never work, you know, because my 12 year old, when she was younger, when she was a newborn is very different from uh, this one here. Her name is Amaya. Um, so, you know, I different items, you know, were needed for each one. Um, so what I did was I put a list for what they both needed and what I think probably most babies would need outside of the normal, um, you know, diapers, um, bottles, uh, formula, stuff like that, you know. Um, so, okay, first thing is, um, pacifiers. Now, with pacifiers, um, I noticed with both of my girls, um, my daughter, my 12 year old did not learn to keep the pacifier in her mouth until she was around three or four months. Um, I, I mean, she could suck on it, but it's like, um, you know, they may stop sucking just for a few seconds and it falls out, or if they yawn, it falls out, or if they suck too hard, it, you know, it comes out. So, um, one thing people, I heard people say with, um, with that problem is to get the Wubba Nub. So, for those of you who don't know, who don't know, this is a Wubba Nub, and Supposedly, the stuffed animal is supposed to, it's not heavy or anything, but it has a little bit of weight to it, so if they're, um, you know, if they accidentally lose it, it's kind of right there and it stays in place. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, um, basically... Unless your baby lays on their back and does not move whatsoever, then the Web and Up would probably work for you. Um, because my daughter, my two and a half month old, she's so active, she's so alert, constantly moving around, looking around, so the Wubba Nub, no, there's no staying in place and <laughs> all that. Um, but any pacifier, in my opinion, is, is good. Um, I will say the MAM pacifier, they seem to be able to keep those in a little bit more. I think maybe because it's a, like the nipple is flat and there's some kind of like texture on there maybe that helps a little um so i mean it's up to you as a mother you know what you want to choose um the second thing i i put down is gripe water um i get the um i don't know if you guys could see that um, it's called Mummy's Bliss, that's the brand, um, and it has ginger, chamomile, fennel, lemon balm, 
and uh, passion flower. And what it does is it's very uh, calming for them if they're colicky, if they have gas, which I prefer that over gas drops. It's a lot more natural. Um, if they're um, fighting their sleep, which this one does <laughs> very much so. Um, if they're fussy and you've tried pretty much everything and you can't figure it out, um, you know, that, the gripe water seems to help with that, so. Um, let's see. Oh, I also put a baby gym. Um, and I put a baby gym because, um, you know, it's, important for them to, uh, for their, uh, hand and eye coordination, um, for their development. They, a lot of babies enjoy, you know, looking at the bright, um, colorful things above them. Um, you talking, honey? You talking? Um, yeah, so it's really good for their development, and um, anyone will do. Uh, you know, there's no need to go out and spend a hundred dollars on one. You know, I I got mine for I think twenty five bucks, I think it was, uh, at Walmart, and she loves it. You know, uh, it has a little mirror. You can attach it kind of anywhere so they can look at themselves and little musical toys and stuff. It's cute. Um, let's see. Bibs and burp, burp clods. Those are pretty much a must. I mean, I, I'm not one to go and spend ridiculous amounts of money on baby clothes because they go through them so quick. Um, my 12 year old, I did have a baby shower with her and I mean, sh she was our only girl in the family for like 10 years before her. So everybody was so excited and, you know, wanted to buy all kind of little dresses and this and that. And, and, you know, I was grateful for it, but she didn't even get to wear some of the things that we had for her. And so, you know, I, I don't like being wasteful. And, you know, obviously we were able to give it to someone who could use it. But still, <laughs> the point, you know. Um, but what I'm saying is, you know, all those cute little outfits and stuff. You know, the bibs protect those. And then the burp claws. The burp claws are very, um, very, very, uh, handy. They come in handy. Um, especially if you, you know, need something in a hurry. Um, if they spit up or something. Um, they're, um, you can use them for multiple things, uh. So, definitely recommend those. Um, then, an aspirator. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, this is an aspirator. And um, it's important to have that because, especially um, newborns, uh, they sometimes can be very... Um, mucusy, uh, I guess is what I want to say, and it, you really need to suck that out of there, that's what you do with this, you, you know, put it in and, yeah, yeah, you talking, <laughs> um, you just squeeze it and just kind of, it, it'll suck it out of there, and then 
it's very important to squeeze it back out, like go into a Kleenex or a paper towel or something. Like, don't just let it keep getting sucked up in there. Yeah. 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 This is a Maya. Do you see yourself? You see that baby? You see that pretty baby? That pretty baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, also, uh, a bobby. Um, I like the plain old regular boppies. Um, I took this to the hospital with me, and, I mean, it, it like, she was so cute in it. Like, I would just snuggle her with a blanket, you know, uh, swaddle her with a blanket, and, um, just set her in there and it was just it was so adorable but um I think they like it because maybe it feels like they're almost like they're being held you know um but they seem to like to lounge on those I don't I don't see what the difference is with the boppy lounger I mean I I see the obvious difference you know the in the way it's shaped and everything, but as far as, you know, they can lounge on this, I don't, <laughs> but anyways, um, whichever you prefer, you know, but I do love the boppy, I think it's a really great thing. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about was, um, like, with with your baby, the best advice I could give to any mother, um, especially new moms, is nobody can tell you what you're going to need for your baby. Um, again, outside of the main things, the diapers, the formula, or, you know, breast pump, you know, however you choose to feed. Um, because all babies are different. You know, um, with my 12-year-old, I don't even think there was such a thing as a Moby wrap, but um, there was, like, the baby carriers, the baby Bjorns, um, and I never liked them. You know, no, no offense to anyone who does. I, personally, it's not for me, and, it, you know, I just it's not for me, um, but I, I would have never, never thought, like, I would have ever used anything like a Moby wrap. Um, my 12-year-old, when she was a baby, she was so, um, she loved being held, she wanted to be held, but she was so good about, like, if I had to lay her down to go do dishes or whatever, you know, she was fine laying in the bassinet for, you know, 15 minutes or so. Um, this one? No way. No way. She wants to be with Mama all the time. So, <laughs> you know... Again, when I was pregnant, like, going into this, um, pregnancy, I'm like, I, I, w I wouldn't need anything like a Moby wrap or anything like that. Well, um, <laughs> about a month, yeah, when she was about a month old, I was like, okay, I think we're going to try the Moby wrap because I couldn't get anything done. I couldn't go do the dishes. I couldn't cook dinner. Um... I had to try to do it while she would be napping, and then she'd wake up, and, but with the Moby Wrap, it's, it's great, but, you know, she doesn't like to be in it all the time, either, like, you know, sh say she's in it one day, she might not want to be in it the next day, you know, and, uh, that's just her little personality, <laughs> which is fine. Now, like, with my 12-year-old, 
Um, she loved the swing. Loved it. Um, Amaya, my two and a half month old, doesn't care for it at all, <laughs> whatsoever. Um, which is fine. Um, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to, honey? Um, so yeah, ba all babies are different and, you know, you never know, um, what you're going to need. So my advice would be wait until your child is born, wait until your baby is born and see what kind of, you know, if they're going to be little, uh, ones that cling to you all the time. You know, then maybe something like a Moby Wrap, or if you like the the other kind of carriers, is something you would want. Um, but uh, yeah, I would just um, that's the best advice I could give. Um, my the reason I like the baby gym is because that's the only time my my uh, two and a half month old is on her back. She is she sleeps on her belly, and that I know that I'll probably get a lot of comments. That's not safe. That's not safe. You know, and you know what? My grandmother had eight kids who all slept on their bellies. Those eight kids all had two or more kids that all slept on their bellies. Um, yeah. And then we're all having kids, and they all sleep on their bellies. My 12-year-old slept on her belly. And basically, what I would say about that is if your baby... Now, she came out, um, pr ho like, holding her head pretty well. Like, the nurses couldn't believe it. Same with my 12-year-old. Um... So, you know, if a baby is face down and cannot breathe, they're going to turn their head if they can. So, I don't know. It's up to the mother if they feel comfortable. You know, it's it's your baby and you know your baby. And um, you should do what you feel is comfortable. Personally, I'm not comfortable with her on her back. Um, because I get scared of, um, throw up, you know, and them choking on their throw up or something like that. Um, plus it just doesn't seem like it'd be very comfortable. I, I'm not a back sleeper and I, like, like I said, both of my girls in the hospital, they put them on their back and they, they wouldn't sleep they wanted to be like on their belly or on their side they feel more more secure and more snug I mean if they're swaddled that's one thing but you know in the heat I don't think many babies want to be swaddled they get hot just like we do um, but so that is my recommendations for any mothers out there um, I don't know how far I'll be going with these videos. Um, it makes me a little nervous, like, knowing that anybody and everybody can, you know, watch my my child on here. Um, so it kind of freaks me out a little bit, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens, but so that is my... Um, my list for newborn essentials outside of the main stuff and uh, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.